Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Marisha and I'm all about building your brand, your business and your bag to facilitate your authenticity, abundance and alignment. It's about turning those lessons into blessings. Now today it's a media video that's all about writing a cue. Cue writing is a core skill for writing for radio and for your podcasts. As by definition, a cue is a way to signal to someone that they should do something. In this instance, that signaling is all about listening to what's going to come next. But you do have to consider the fact that they need to be punchy, accurate, interesting, clear, and make somebody want to take notice. Now, there are three main components to writing a great cue. The very first is the hook or the headline. You want to tell somebody in one sentence why they should pay attention to what's about to come next. The second part is the context or the byline. So why is this a headline or a story? Why should we care? And the third part is to introduce your guest or the people that you're going to have talking about that particular subject. Why are you selecting that individual? What is their justification? So let me give you a quick example of a nice, quick, clean, clear Q or the C's. The headline or the hook. Well, a night on the tiles for this year's New Year's Eve is off the cards, unless it's your kitchen tiles. The context or byline. So how can you still have a great New Year's Eve party? The introduction of the guest. Let's find out from the man who created the hugely popular cocktail, porn star Martini Douglas Accra. Now, as you can see there, it's nice, it's short, it's punchy, and it speaks to the point. So what is the hook? Well, at the last New Year's Eve party, and this is a real cue, by the way, at the last New Year's Eve, because of lockdown, none of us could go out. You'll notice that I didn't say any of that. I simply made it clear that this New Year's Eve, we're not going to be able to do what we would do on the normal New Year's Eve. And the, and the terminology, night on the tiles, is a bit of an old fashioned term that refers to going out and partying on the dance floor. The second part makes reference to, so what are we going to do instead? Why do we all care? Well, we all want to have a great New Year's Eve party. So how can we still do that if we can't go out clubbing? So the guest that we're introducing, the third part, is there because he created one of the most popular cocktails that we'll get at any party, a porn star martini. Uh, which has been the rage for the last few years. And so he's got context because he offers value to what a night out means. And actually what this story was gonna be about wasn't about how to play music or DJ in your own home, but actually how to go about creating your own cocktails for your own night in for your New Year's Eve party. Now, that's a lot of story that we've wrapped into three sentences. So let me tell you what that is again and just imagine if you were listening to this just before new year's while you were thinking about what you were going to do so i'll read it again well the night on the tiles for this new year's eve is off the cards unless it's your kitchen tiles so how can you still have a great new year's eve party let's find out from the man who created the hugely popular cocktail porn star martini douglas Accra. There you go. So what you've got is a quick cue. So what you want to be careful to do is not tell too much of the story. You want to generate interest. You want to get people thinking and you want them to get ready to listen to what or who is going to come next. Let me know how you get on with your cue writing. And if there's anything in this video that has helped you, then please like, share and subscribe. Let your friends know about it and come back for more tips and guidance on how you can produce great radio and podcasts moving forward. See you again soon.